All right, last week we had a ton of crazy sneaker releases. This week we calmed down just a little bit, but there is still a lot of dope kicks for you to add to your collection. I'm Jacques Slade, this is the Heat Check. <laughs> All right, let's kick things off with some sneakers that are probably already sold out. If I'm gonna be honest, it's the Nike Air Force One Rockefeller. This is, I guess, what you would consider a retro of a sneaker that released back in the early 2000s. You obviously already know about Jay-Z and his label Rockefeller, and the shoes were created at a time when the Air Force One was basically one of the hottest shoes on the block. Those are gonna cost you $150 if you can actually find a pair. Uh, coming up next for sneakers that drop today is the Puma Basket Platform Glitter. As I have said plenty of times on the show, Puma is definitely making a change when it comes to the appeal of the brand and the shoes they create. And just as an example, as of the recording of this video, only two sizes of this shoe are left. You can grab those right now for $110 over at Finish Line. Jumping ahead to tomorrow, we have a few things from the folks over at Adidas. First up is the Adidas Ultra Boost Lacelet. These are gonna cost you $200 and they come in that Oreo colorway, which has been quite a bit of buzz lately. Uh, you can grab those over at Finish Line as well. If you're not necessarily a fan of the Ultra Boost, Adidas is also dropping the Pure Boost tomorrow as well. This one is in the core black from Toe to Heel, giving you that triple black look that has also been pretty popular. It's actually the fall, so all black sneakers actually work pretty well right now considering the weather. Those will cost you $170. All right, switching it up to those folks over in Beaverton, it looks like the women are getting two different versions of the Vapor Max Flyknit. There is a Brodo colorway and a Sunset Glow colorway. Uh, the Vapor Max is still one of the hottest shoes of the year, and the ladies can grab those for $190 over at Finish Line. Not to leave the men out, there are a few colorways of the Vapor Max Flyknit dropping for men as well. One of my favorite colorways that I've seen so far is the College Navy, and just like the women's colorway, those are only gonna cost you $190. All right, for you b-ball fans out there, or maybe just a fan of Paul George in particular, there is a bright violet colorway of the PG-1 arriving at finish line this weekend. As I've stated before, at $110, the PG-1 is a sneaker you should definitely take a good look at. And uh, speaking of low price basketball shoes, the Adidas Dame 4 is dropping in a gray colorway. The Dame 4 has gotten some really great reviews online and you can grab that colorway for $115 over at finish line. All right, keeping with the Friday drops, Adidas is back with three different colorways of the i593, which I think is just a different version of the Aniki Runner. Adidas switched up the model just a bit and gave it a new name, but if you like the style of that model, you can grab this version in red, collegiate navy, or off-white. As always, it has that boost, which is mad comfortable, and as far as the pricing goes, those are $120. All right, jumping back into the classic sneakers, the Nike Air Force One High is releasing in the Just Dawn design version for the Nike Air Force One campaign that they have going on right now. As you know, these released originally at Complex Con, and it looks like they're getting a wider release on Friday, and you can grab those for $200. This weekend is pretty, this weekend's being pretty democratic when it comes to releases as the kids have their own version of the Kyrie 3 dropping. The upper of the shoe takes on the popular What The Theme and these will only cost you a hundred bucks. The upper on these is definitely playful and if you have a little one that's into basketball, this one's a no brainer. All right, jumping ahead to Saturday, Nike is continuing the love of the Air Force One with the Lunar Force One that is designed or remixed by the folks over at Acronym. Like the Just Dawn pair that released originally at Complex Con, these are the same thing, but now it looks like they're getting a wider release and the those will cost you 200 bucks. All right, keeping with the Saturday drops, Nike has the Air Jordan 32 low in the Win Like Mike 96 colorway. As most of you already know, the Jordan 11 version of this shoe is actually dropping next week, but to kick things off, Jordan brings us the 32 low and those will cost you $160. Getting back to those grade school sizes, a very cool looking little penny posit is dropping in what they're calling the penny for your thoughts theme. These have a white base, but they're updated with like this writing in black all over the upper. Those will cost your little ones 180 bucks. Keeping with the grade school crowd, the Air Jordan 13 Retro is dropping in white and Italy blue. If you're a fan of UNC, you can see the connection between these two colorways and the school's colors, but there is no official tie-in to the brand. Uh, those will cost you $140. And again, they're only available in grade school sizes. Now, keeping that UNC love alive, it looks like Jordan Brand is also dropping an Air Jordan 6 and what's being called the Black UNC colorway. The upper of the shoe is mainly black, but Jordan Brand has updated the accents with University Blue in just the right places. Maybe this is like a UNC Knights colorway, of the shoe? I don't know. Anyway, look for those that cost you $190. You can grab those over at Finish Line. All right, guys, as with every week, I want to thank you for watching the show. Make sure you check below for the links to all of the shoes that I talked about in today's video. I'm Jacques Slate. This is the Heat Check presented by Finish Line. And as always, guys, I appreciate you. I'll see you soon. Peace.